is going on guys it is fatal reaper day bringing you guys a video sorry for the shakiness um and the voice most of the rest of this video will be done on um my computer and everything like that so the voice should sound better I am doing this on my phone at first i'm going to do a review in this video guys of the msi optics g24c gaming uh monitor or um really you won't have to call it gaming monitor just a monitor in general and here are the specifications here you can see that it uh, is curved it does have in 144 hertz it is a one second uh, uh monitor as far as i know too and it does allow something called g-sync or you can a lot of people call it free sync and now we're going to move over here to the actual monitor this is the monitor plugged up so I'm going to go ahead and go over a few things specifically about this, and I'm going to show you guys how to turn V-Sync and G or, or G-Sync or FreeSync, wh whichever it's called. It's actually called FreeSync when you go in the settings, but it's also called G-Sync or referred to. So um, if you haven't already, guys, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into the rest of this video. And I will be displaying uh, Fortnite and Modern Warfare in this video just to show you guys some gameplay of what it is. Of course, it doesn't do it justice if you actually had the monitor or you could play on the monitor first. You will tell a huge difference in the um, V-Sync or the G-Sync. So, um, I keep saying V-Sync. It's all G-Sync, V-Sync, all that. So, it's actually Free Sync and G-Sync. Not to be confused with V-Sync, which is where it caps your frames at 60 or another cap. So, the first thing is first, you're going to go over here in the little right corner. You've got your buttons here, and you're going to click the menu button. When you go over from that, as you can see, you're going to use the arrow keys to go over, and you're going to go over to Other. After you go to Other, you're going to see this uh, option, as it's called Free Sync. And then you're just going to click it, and you're going to see that it is on. You can turn it on yourself, and then after that, you will just go to Exit. That is how you turn VC. Uh, again, I keep messing up the wording. You will turn Free Sync on. Once that is on, you will do have to do some NVIDIA settings. Again, it, it may not be compatible. Do make sure you have a compatible graphics card. It has to be NVIDIA, or there are some other, uh, as far as I know, exceptions that can be uh, considered that will be compatible with it. But it will be able to turn on, and you will have to download NVIDIA or GeForce Experience. Be, uh, be sure you download GeForce Experience. And then you can go to uh, NVIDIA Control Panel. So again, guys, to use the 144 hertz, you do have to use the Display Port. So do make sure your graphics card or whatever uh, laptop you're using does support um, Display Port. If you don't have that, then you're going to have to do the HDMI port, and that's only going to be capped at 120. All right. So the rest of this video, guys, uh, we're going to be on the screen, and I'm going to be showing you hands-on stuff, how to do that, and everything like that. This was just to show the physical monitor. Again, it is curved, 144 hertz. Um, so let's jump into the next portion of this video. In this portion of the video, guys, I figured I'd jump right into it. So we are doing how to turn on G-Sync. So after you've done the steps in the first part of the video, again, make sure you've done that. Very important. After you've done that, you're going to go to your windows down here in the left corner uh, and just start typing. You're going to type in NVIDIA Control Panel after you've downloaded GeForce Experience if you do have an NVIDIA graphics card. After that, you're going to see this, especially if, as, as long as your monitor does have its capabilities. This one does. There will be a link down in the description below for this. This is an MSI 144Hz monitor, um, the Optics G24C to be exact. You're going to go to this down here and go to Setup G-Sync. So what you're going to do, you're going. this is not going to be clicked. It'll probably just be enabled for full screen. You're going to click Enable for Windowed and Full Screen Mode. Make sure you enable settings for this selected display model, and then you, it's going to pop up Apply. Now, once you apply that, um, most people, you know, you don't, um, sometimes it does just take effect right, right after, and you can start playing your games and see if it does, but for most of the time, you're going to want to go ahead and down here to the Start menu and just go ahead and reset that. So make sure you just go reset your computer real quick after doing this, and do make sure that it is still set afterwards and after that g-sync will be or free sync is um turned on now do make sure you do the uh the monitor step first then this and then the g-sync or free sync if you want to refer to it as that will be set up and will be good to go then start on your games now i personally recommend doing modern warfare to see it you're going to notice it right away i did there is like no screen tearing there's no choppiness it is just smooth overall i'm going to do some clips of Modern Warfare and stuff like that. Hopefully it picks it up. Um, in the some of the some of the video captures, you can't really tell that it really picks that much up, 
or it doesn't really do it justice. But seeing it, trust me, you will see a huge difference if you have the monitor for yourself. So maybe not so much the recordings, but you will see every bit of the detail. It is just uh, 10 times better. I used to have a 165 hertz monitor. I still do. That's my second monitor now. I turned this one into my main monitor because this is just ridiculously insane of how much how well it actually works and what G-Sync really looks like. It's just incredible and I highly recommend it. Again, links down in the description below for this monitor. So let's go ahead and jump into the game portion, guys. All right, guys, so in this portions of the video, you're going to see a before and after. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give some disclaimers for the G-Sync. You're really probably not going to see it too much of a difference in these, uh, considering they are recordings. It really does not do it justice. Trust me. Take my word for it 100%. So this right now you're seeing is a, qu a quick clip that I had before G-Sync. This was before I got the uh, new monitor. This was on my old 165 hertz monitor. Um, and this is the next clip you are seeing is after G-Sync was enabled and on the new 144 hertz G-Sync uh, capable monitor. So personally, guys, I in the video footage, anyways, I don't really see that much of a difference. It's going to be hard to distinguish the difference. I do have a Fortnite towards the end of the video, too, for that, the before and after for Fortnite. You really can't tell the difference at all in Fortnite because, I mean, with the game as being like it is. But um, specifically what it's supposed to do is G-Sync is basically make it where that choppiness and that kind of uh, t screen tearing, if you will, you're getting when you're turning, like, you know, turning... Uh, your uh, weapon or anything like in Modern Warfare especially, you can tell, you're not getting that anymore. Where beforehand on a non-G-Sync uh, or free-sync monitor, you would be getting that, even with the higher hertz or, and or good graphics card, uh, etc. But I can tell you guys without a doubt, again, the video um, the video recordings do not do it justice. After plugging it in and, and turning it on, it is an insane amount of difference. It honestly feels like you're playing a just... An entirely different setup or anything. The the free sync is just ridiculous of how uh, how smooth it really is and how much of a difference you can really tell. I really thought and I was really really skeptical. I was like ah, I don't think there's gonna be that much of a difference. But after playing and again the other monitor that I had was a higher hertz it was 165 hertz. This is only 144. But with the G sync enabled, I mean again the video footage does not do it the justice it needs. It is ridiculous amount how how different how smooth it really does look. And I have to say, and I'm not you know saying it definitely does anyone, but I do have to say it kind of improved my gameplay a little bit. I feel like everything was quicker, and I could especially with quick scoping or anything like that. I felt like everything was snappier and more on pace and on point. So I do have to give credit to that too. Now with Fortnite, I didn't play for too too long at the end of the video. Um, I did just do like a few games. Um, the game you're seeing in the clip was about the second game. I didn't really notice too too much of a difference, but um, I did a little bit, somewhat slightly, um, of some of some of it. But I was kind of I was kind of getting some uh, lag in between too. My internet for some reason was wanting to lag. Um, but other than that, guys, I mean, the G-Sync is ridiculous, and especially if you're COD, because I know a lot of play people, a lot of you guys watching probably play, uh, Call of Duty and stuff like that, and this is for all games, too, it's not just Call of Duty, I mean, you know, games like Minecraft or anything like that, that you're, you're playing it with the G-Sync on, or FreeSync, is going to make every little, you know, that screen tearing you were getting. Now, again, you may not notice it too much on the clips and the video recordings, because when you record... Sometimes it's not the best best footage um, as far as recording goes. Um, now, if you had it now, you, a lot of people um, recommend capture cards. So capture cards are really good to get. And I do I do recommend them as well, and I plan to get one later on. They do do better uh, recordings and everything like that. But that being said, guys, this G Sync is just amazing. I really I hands down am very very happy with the purchase. Um, the monitor itself was only one hundred eighty dollars. That's after tax and shipping and everything like that. I did get it off Newegg. You can get it off Amazon. I will have a link for it in Amazon. You can get it off Newegg as well. I do recommend Newegg or Amazon. Uh, there are a few other places you can get it, and if you guys do find it there and you want to go with somewhere you're more familiar with, that's great. But I do have a link for you guys to check it out if you want to just see exactly where it's at and the pricing and everything like that. But again, guys, hands down, a great monitor. MS Again, the MSI 144Hz Curved G24C to be exact. And I do have to say, again, guys, it is just, it's been flawless. Like, I've only had it for about hmm, a week or two now, but I have to say, 
it's 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 great. I mean, I just can't I can't get enough of it, especially playing on Modern Warfare. It's been a huge change. You can definitely see again the video the video recordings do not do it as justice as I I would say how good it is. But again again guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure you hit that like button and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, please leave me some comments down below. I'll be sure to get to you as fast as possible. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.